Aloha everyone, welcome back to Kaimana Conservation, the channel where we talk about the ocean and everything ocean related. For those of you guys that haven't been here before, my name is Jessica. I'm a marine biologist that lives on the island of Maui in Hawaii. And I'm super excited for today's video because uh, it's a long time coming. A lot of you guys have been asking, but I had to go through the proper channels, ask permission, make sure everything was good to go before I started to film this one. Uh, but you guys have been asking for a day in the life video. Um, I know those are really popular to get an idea of what professional marine biologists do during their work days, especially for you aspiring marine biologists out there. So today you guys are going to be joining me on a day in the life at the Maui Ocean Center where I work as a marine naturalist and the education director here. So just uh, two things before we get started. First and foremost, is in the title, I'm pretty sure I wrote Day in the Life of a Marine Biologist, but just to make sure you guys are aware that Marine Biologist is not my official job title here at the Maui Ocean Center. I am a Marine Biologist by trade and by education. Um, however, my current job title here is Education Director. So that's a really good tip for you guys that are uh, aspiring Marine Biologists that are looking for work and you seem to not be finding anything under the title Marine Biologist. Well, the truth is Marine Biology is a little bit of a buzzword, meaning that there are so many things under that umbrella so make sure that you guys are looking for other job titles as well because education director doesn't have the word marine or biology in it and yet I am working with uh, the ocean life every single day thing number two is that my job changes on an absolute daily basis. So this is just one glimpse into one day of my life here at the Ocean Center. However, um, if you were to kind of spot me on any other day of the week or of the month, then obviously those things would change. So this is just a little bit of a glimpse into what my day might look like um, here at the park, but there's so much variety. Hopefully at some point I can give you guys a glimpse into a different day here at the Maui Ocean Center. All right, that being said, we're gonna go ahead and dive on in. I'm gonna head over to my office and show you guys my morning routine before we head into the park. Welcome to the Maui Ocean Center, everyone. I just got out of my car. We're heading over to my office really quickly. Uh, give you guys a little bit of an office tour and get me set up for the start of my day. guys, welcome to the administration office. Uh, this is where I work. Most people don't uh, really think of a marine biologist going to their office first, um, but it is a very important part of what I do. I always come here in the morning and drop off my backpack, turn on my computer, check my emails, and check my schedule to see what's going on for today. So you guys are gonna join me while I hop onto my computer here and make sure that we're ready to go for today. Right, guys we just wrapped up with our emails for this morning so um, before we head back out into the park however I do want to give you guys a little bit of an office tour um, because my office looks a little different than most. Uh, when people walk into this office for the first time, it's like, wow, this is a really unique office. Like any other office, you're gonna have your computer, computer desk, all that fun stuff. Got all of my paperwork over here. Like any self-respecting marine biologist, I have to have my whale stuffy hanging out next to my filing. All kinds of fun stuff up here. Definitely not something you would see in most people's offices. Now that you have had a little bit of a tour of my office and join me on my morning routine, we're gonna grab my radio over here and we're gonna go open up the park and get everything ready for everybody to arrive at nine o'clock.
we just had a really good walk through the park and now I'm gonna head to the back where I'm gonna prepare some food in our curatorial kitchen for our turtle presentation. fun for you guys to come take a quick peek in here and also learn a little bit about our corals because Maui Ocean Center has an all coral foundation to its coral exhibits a lot of aquariums aren't able to do that because corals are very hard to care for but we have all live corals here not everybody knows what a coral is so I thought this would be a really good opportunity for you guys to see said coral I was going to take them out and feed them for you because most people do not realize that corals are animals and they have those stinging tentacles and the ability to eat their food just like any other animal. Um, so we're gonna set that up for you so you guys can watch. gonna prep the food here in just a moment I'm gonna actually be doing this underneath of the microscope for you guys because I think that's the best way in order to experience because they are a little bit small for my lens so I'm gonna actually switch over to the microscope here in just a moment so you guys can see what it looks like for these guys feeding underwater saw it uh, we're gonna go ahead and put these little guys back thank you guys um, for being hungry for us <laughs> you want to talk about how funny it is when marine biologists try and decorate well check this out decorating with lobster molds the lobsters shed their exoskeleton it's called a molt so this guy's still on exhibit but he's grown since then and we decided to decorate our wet lab with his molds. Really creative, I know. I'm gonna head back out into the park for a little bit.
Wow, what a great day, guys. So I just made it home. As you guys can see, I'm a little wet. Um, surprisingly, as a marine biologist, I don't spend too much of my time this wet. Um, but as you guys saw, I got the amazing opportunity to hop into the open ocean exhibit. That's usually um, a dive experience for our guests. Um, and the curatorial team let me hop in, which was so amazing. Mahalo Nui Loa to Harry, who was my dive guide today. And Harry not only is an amazing diver, but he's also an expert shark tooth finder. So he found this for you guys. This is a tiger shark tooth. We're very lucky right now we have a tiger shark on property. They don't usually spend too much time on exhibit because they grow very quickly. Um, but Harry was able to find a tiger shark tooth in the sediment. Shark's teeth are falling out all the time as they grow and as they eat. Unlike humans where we get one row of baby teeth, they fall out and then bam, we have adult teeth and they're supposed to stay with us for the rest of our lives. Sharks are a little different. Sharks can lose anywhere between 20 to 50,000 teeth in their lifetime and they come out as the sharks are eating typically. Um, so we have a lot of little sharks teeth. It's like a little treasure hunt anytime you go into that exhibit. And a lot of times the curatorial department come out with sharks teeth. As you guys can see, I'm still soaking wet and I'm in my wetsuit, so I'm gonna go take a shower after being in the open ocean exhibit. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you guys had fun and learned a little bit about what it's like being a marine biologist in the role at the Maui Ocean Center. And hopefully I'll see you guys again soon because I would love to do another video with you folks, uh, giving you a different glimpse into what it looks like at the Maui Ocean Center on a different day. Uh, if you guys have any questions or any inquiries um, or any suggestions for a future video, feel free to pop that in the comments below. Let me know if you guys had a favorite part that you want to see a little bit more about. Obviously, check out the Maui Ocean Center as well. There's a lot of cool information to be had on their website and their YouTube channel. Other than that, I will see you guys around next time. Mahalo nui loa and ahui ho.